Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I tell you right now, this Houston economy is known for its robust nature, and, and, and Texas is known as a great place for doing business. And in spite of the incredible uh, problems we've had over the last year with oil now hovering below $45 a barrel, uh, Houston continues to track along very nicely. And the reason why is because we're not just a great place for the energy business. We're a great place for business. And I can't tell you over recent months uh, how many people have engaged with me about their golden handcuffs. Uh, they've, they've left companies, energy-related companies, but they're not done with their careers. They're ready for the next stage. And now businesses literally all over the country are looking at Houston as a potential place for growth for franchise opportunities because you've got individuals with, with a certain amount of largesse from what they got from the companies they were at. They have certain financial credibility to get more money and necessary to have the capital to build a franchise. And so I'm not at all surprised that uh, we've got uh, the CEO of uh, this, of a company uh, out there called Tropical Smoothie and uh, – it's actually Tropical Smoothie Cafe, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah, and it's out of Atlanta. And don't tell me, and don't ask me why, but Atlanta, for some reason, is a hot spot for a lot of franchises. So I'm not at all surprised. Mike uh, Rotondo, glad to have you on the, the program. Tell us a little bit about your company. What makes it unique? Yeah, Tropical Smoothie Cafe. So we started back in 1997. We have 450 locations in 38 states. And what's, what's unique about Tropical Smoothie Cafe is, you know, the first pe- thing people think is smoothies. Tropical Smoothie Cafe is actually a split of smoothies and food. So 60% of the business is smoothies, but 40% of the business is food. And we have great food, incredible food. Um, So wraps, sandwiches, flatbreads, salads, and the drink of choice with that is a smoothie. Makes sense. Uh, So we don't sell sodas. We sell smoothies with our food. Um, So we're that better for you brand, right? right? We're not like incredibly like, you know, the, 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 the vegan, vegetarian, hardcore our core customer is the healthy hopeful, somebody who's just trying to do a little bit better. Right. Um, so and still uh, concerned about taste. Absolutely, that's important. <laughs> right. It's, it's really, it doesn't for me matter. It's really important. It doesn't matter how many how, nuts can I eat. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter how healthy it is. It still has to taste good. So our number one selling smoothie is a smoothie made with spinach and kale and pineapple, banana and mango. Number wow. one selling smoothie. Super good for you. But it tastes great, and that's why people keep coming back for it. Yeah, makes it makes a lot of sense to me. Talk a little bit about, and, and I love that idea. You know, I, I don't know how many times I've been into smoothie type locations. It's like, man, I'd actually like to have a meal with my smoothie, and right? They, and they don't have it, you know, set up for that. And and it always kind of makes you wonder, you know, whether or not they be are they embarrassed to provide food because the food wouldn't match the product. And so, talk a little bit about the food that complements, in your opinion, smoothie product. Yeah, that's a great a great point. And and a lot of the you. You have to be dedicated to both sides of the business, right? You can, there are certain places that serve great food, and then they may have smoothies as like a supplement to their menu, but it's not really great smoothies. They they might be like a, a you know a bag in the box product smoothie, so it's not a real smoothie like we sell. And then you have some smoothie concepts that they have food, but it's prepackaged, it's commissary type food, so it's not real food. We are a lunch destination. Forty five percent of our business comes between 11 and 2. So mm. we are literally a lunch destination, but we also get that great breakfast day part, which makes up about 14% of our sales. So while other concepts, you know, the smoothie-only places are getting that breakfast and maybe afternoon snack, we get breakfast, lunch, afternoon snack, dinner, night snack. So we're hitting all the day parts with this food, and our food is very credible. It's it's not prepackaged commissary-type food. Everything is made fresh to order in the cafe. Yeah, and that's very, very important, I, and I totally get what you're saying. It's almost like the food is an afterthought in places that do right. offer it. You know, smoothie place, it's like an afterthought. Yeah. People keep asking for it, so let's have a ham sandwich here. Yeah, it's or like, a really? bar or something you know, that yeah, they can yeah. grab uh, with their smoothie. Uh, exactly, yeah. Uh, uh, ours is power, more intentional. A power bar or something yeah. like that. And yeah, ours so. is more intentional. We're building the meal. Yeah, I like it. Very, very uh, huge menu. How many locations do you have in the Houston market? So in Houston, we only have one. We have the one in Richmond, and that franchisee is on it, working on his second. And part of the reason I'm here is we had an event last night at the cafe. We had about 30 people come that are interested in being Tropical Smoothie Cafe franchisees. So we saw probably about 10 or 15 franchise deals out of that meeting last night. So we anticipate 35 here in, the, in, in you know, greater Houston uh, probably over the next five years. So wow. a lot, How many? 
35. Wow, that's ambitious. Yeah, yeah, very aggressive. We got a lot of people, to your point, people that are leaving their current field. Right. And so they've got the, the capital to do, you know, we met with a gentleman last night that is going to do six. Right. Right. So, you know, it's not just one or two. People he, are being aggressive. Is he an aggressive. engineer? Uh, no, he actually came out of me- <laughs> came out of medical. Yeah, they're, they're all very similar, though. Yeah. Uh, they're yeah. engineers. They're they're very high technical, highly educated people, but they're really good at one thing. You yeah. know, and they now don't know the nuances of entrepreneurship, the importance of business model, the importance that the replication importance and that type of thing that really can only come with a franchise. Right, right, and that's exactly what they talked about last night. You had some of these entrepreneurial guys in the medical field, and he's like, you know, I made this all up myself. I did. I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Right. I was very successful. I did it. I'm selling my business. I want to get into something now where I can have more of a role of just, you know, delivering and executing as opposed to cr- doing all the creative side of it. So yeah. that's what the franchise provides you. Yeah. If you talk to people who are, are medical doctors, they'll tell you is they don't even talk about the business side of um, being in medicine until your last year of medical school. And it's like, man, if they did that the first year, I would have never become a doctor, <laughs> you know, because it's a lot of work. And, and, and it's not very, it's not being taught by entrepreneurs. It's mainly being taught by professors who them, themselves never had private practice. Right, you know, right. It's, it's, it's just really quite, quite bizarre. And so they know, know more than most that trial and error isn't the way to launch something like this when a model's been made. How old is this franchise? Uh, we started in 1997. And how many are there nationwide? 450 in 38 states. Oh, man, that's fantastic. We're, we're, we're opening about t- – right now we're on a pace of opening about 10 cafes a month. 10 a month? Yeah. That's yeah. impressive. Yeah, we, we've sold uh, 125 franchise agreements so far this year. We're on track to do about 160 franchise agreements this year. Man, that's very aggressive. Certain states better than others. Uh, we are obviously, if you've been around that long, and you've been, yeah, and you're in thirty something states, but not in a dozen plus. Then right. I mean, we're we're just starting. Really, we we have three in Dallas. We have some in Austin. We're down in uh, near Corpus Christi, um, but we're really starting to attack Texas now, and really going after California. Virginia is a big state for us. Florida is huge for us. So we're we're really a lot East Coast, but all the way up Michigan. We we do very well up in Michigan. Who would have guessed? That's I know. Where I'm from originally, by the way. Oh, are you? Yeah, what, I'm what from Chicago. Is? I'm from Chicago originally. I'm from just north of Detroit. In a okay, town called Ferndale. Okay, so we're we're in Flint. We're in uh, you know uh, uh, we're we're all over mid uh, all over Michigan. Um, we've got I think 35 cafes, and uh, they'll have probably 60 cafes within the next five years. Mm-hmm. And uh, how long have you been here in Houston area? Uh, I think we opened April of last year. So, April of last year. Yeah. And, yeah, and it's so, going well, I assume. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't and tell that, me if it wasn't anyway. Really? <laughs> well, that area is growing. I mean, there's really a lot going on there. There's a lot of growth. So he probably got in a little early, and now more and more stuff is coming his way. Absolutely. So uh, tell us a little bit about the, uh, you know, a rough estimate. I know that it's variant based on how many people are in a territory. There's different factors that determine, you know, the investment that gets started with a franchise. But kind of give us a feel for that. Yeah. So the franchise fee is $25,000. The all-in cost, including franchise fee, development costs, everything, ranges probably somewhere around two hundred seventy-five dollars to $300,000 to get a Tropical Smoothie Cafe open. Yeah. The average unit volume of a, of a Tropical Smoothie Cafe last year was 578000 We're up 11.4% in comp sales versus last year. Last year, we were up 117 So we're on our second year of double-digit comp sales growth. Uh, so we got a, a lot of great things going on at the brand. So I'm looking at your um, information here as far as your menu and that type of thing. I'm, I'm trying to get a sense. Kind of give me an idea of, of how pricing is. Yeah, so the smoothies will range anywhere from like four twenty nine on the low end to could be as high as five forty nine for like an all in a smoothie. We have an avocado smoothie that has an half an avocado in it and spinach and wow. kale and coconut. So some of our more like Exotic. power smoothies, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have a smoothie right now, a chia banana boost that's made with roasted bananas. So we actually roast and caramelize the bananas in the oven and then make this smoothie with chia seeds and oats and bananas. Um, and so that smoothie might be at the you know the four ninety nine or five forty nine price point. Sandwiches and wraps are around six ninety nine, and they come with a side. Uh, we have flatbreads that are a little bit smaller of an item, but it's still pretty hearty, and they're four forty nine. Mm-hmm. So it's you know yeah, it's reasonable. Yeah, our yeah, average check our average check is around eight dollars. Yeah, you know very so, competitive. Yeah, 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 that's cool. 
Uh, and the thing about smoothies is, is smoothies are smoothies are not only your drink, but it's almost like your side as well. Yeah, you know, because they're substantive. Absolutely. And, and uh, you know, when I'm trying to lose weight, sometimes one of my meals will be just a smoothie. Absolutely, meal so, replacement. Yeah. Yeah. Like I say, yeah, come in and get a smoothie, and we have whey. You can add whey protein or soy protein to it, and that's your meal. You're you're fed. Absolutely. Uh, very good. I, I, how long are you going to be here in town? Uh, we've been here for a couple days, so we're out. We're out this afternoon. Um, but uh, we we uh, we enjoyed our stay here yesterday and met some great people. You know, that just love the, the the. I think the the folks here in Houston are open to this concept, right? Yeah. The, the people that have a more active lifestyle that are looking to be a little bit better. You know, the people we met last night were just amazing and so excited about the brand. So I think I think Houston's a great spot for this brand to just really explode. Yeah, I think so, too. And, you know, Houston has become very Silicon Valley-ish. It's become very Seattle-ish. Uh, we've attracted a lot of creatives over the last 10 years. You can see it in the changes in our parks. You can see it in the changes yeah. in a lot of our, uh, you know, recreation activity. Um, and there's good and bad about this. You know, I'm not sure how much more it'll be tolerating an old-school guy like me in a town like this. But uh, for for someone who does what you do with clients like you have, uh, to me this is a no-brainer. Yeah, yeah, we're super excited about it, and we'll, we'll be back. We're, we're, we're coming back on a regular basis to continue to grow this market. When will you be back in Houston? Uh, I'll, I'll be back in uh, probably October because mm-hmm. I'm doing something with the Mavericks. Uh, we're doing a 5K. The Mavericks run the town. So we'll be in Dallas and then we're going to shoot down here for a day as well. Yeah, very good. And, uh, well, I, I look forward to uh, seeing and, and hearing from you guys again and keeping me up to date. I know she didn't bring any food. I know. I should have thought about that, man. I should have brought you guys some you thought smoothies. thought about it before you got in the car. That was your mistake. That's it. You didn't even bring me a voucher. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm going to get some over here. I'm going to get some over here. We'll talk. I'll, I'll, I'll get, you guys will I have like some. I food. See, I could actually be a, a living testimony for you but yeah. but now all i have to do is all i can do is take the word of the ceo that the food's great <laughs> you know my listeners going eh. but you know it sounds awesome i love the concept it makes perfect sense i've been wondering when they were going to bring food to smoothies it's about time and we're glad you guys are doing that mike yeah yeah no we're excited yeah i think it's awesome all right make sure you check out uh tr- tropical smoothie.com the, the website for the franchise opportunity what is that yeah, so you can go right to that. It's uh, you can go right to that same website and then just click on franchise opportunities. There you go. I I can see that right there on the top. So that's tropicalsmoothie.com. dot com. Mike Rotondo, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you guys. All right, when we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at usadereview dot com. While they're liking on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and this is the price of business. <laughs> 